um, a number of content providers, like well over 100 for the top 500 websites. And essentially, we're working to get them to optimize their um, their services, their applications, um, so that they work well on phones and um, make the best use of the Flash um, when it's running on Android and other smartphone platforms as they as they roll out. The first example here is Angry Alien, which is a really popular website where they, they take normal Hollywood movies and turn them into cartoons and uh, end up with somewhat comedy results. So we'll zoom in to one of the movies. And you'll see when the movie loads, um, it's also got, it's got the desktop resolution, so the movie will sit in this little corner. Now, because we're using Flash, the, the benefit of Flash is, is the vectors mean that you can stretch it and scale it without it getting distorted. So I can double tap and play it full screen like this, and then I... And it means that if you're a content provider um, distributing video or games or other content like this, you know, animations, then you have the ability really to you know, get, engage with the consumer a bit better um, and you know, give them a really nice experience in, in full screen. Yeah. So you can see that the Angry Alien site has got lots and lots of um, different movies in there. So we'll just jump to another example. Um, we've been working with Sony Pictures. And Sony Pictures, obviously, they have things like uh, DVDs and many, many other properties that they have. But here it's about uh, preview video and clips. So that you know, uh, people are coming to their, their site on mobile devices can see video trailers of upcoming movies or, or DVDs. So we can uh, pick Death at a Funeral. And you can see that effectively for over 3G, we're going to start streaming the video. And the optimizations here are really about making sure the buttons can be pressed by a finger um, and making sure that you know the, the user has a similar experience that they do on the web today. So again, we can double tap on the video, play it in portrait mode, or flip it around, and, and then we're in landscape. And you can see here that I can tap it and bring up the video controls and do things like scrub it along and skip to the next part of the video. And it's just instant, you know, here we are at a mobile event and we're doing it over 3G. Now because it's Flash, of course, you have things like overlays to allow you to do sharing and stuff like that. And Sony are really into their viral marketing. So you can see like the, the, the video quality is incredible, you know, that's uh, a benefit of the, the Google Nexus device being uh, so powerful. And we have things like uh, games, so we've been working with Addicting Games, and um, they're like a, like a free game service that's available online, where you just go along and, and play, you know, cool games. So you can see uh, the games here on the screen. I can zoom in, we've got High School Cheerleader and Crack Boy, so we can, we can tap on the game. When is hard? We'll launch into um, another page with uh, the game embedded and we'll be able to do exactly the same gestures as before and bring the game up to the screen. And you can see it takes a little while to load this one because it has so much content in it. The, the instructions. And again, you can see that it's like you know, really rich animation. And this is the same game that will run, of course, on the web, on your desktop, on your laptop, uh, laptop tablet, whatever device. So in this case, it, it supports mouse or, or touch. It is indeed. Um, you know, one of the things that I said you know, when we started was around optimization. We're working with these partners to get them to make the best use out of the player. I mean, obviously, you, you, know, you can browse to just about any website. I mean, an example here is uh, the New York Times website. New York Times, um, we've been building an application for them um, that support Adobe Air, which is for standalone applications. Um, and that allows what's called the New York Times Reader. And in there, it's about um, having access to you know, news and video and articles. They even have the crossword in there, um, all built in Flash. And you know, it's a new business model for them, have a desktop app. And that's really cool for things like netbooks or smartbooks or whatever you want to, to call them. So this is the, the mobile application. And you can see it's you know it's got a really nice layout for, um, for mobile. You know, you can click on an article and here we've got like, this flash based menu and we can go click through them and pick out the, the news articles. So you can see um, we've got the videos here, we can just tap on a video and again it plays in that one. And then if I flip the device around, we're playing in landscape mode. 
and you can see again they've got like really nice controls there. This is you know effectively the same player that exists on the web, but just slightly bigger controls. So they've got a bit of intelligence in there to work that out. So we can exit from there, and you can see again it works um, in landscape mode. And this is the, the types of optimizations that we expect people to make to their websites and so that mobile devices can browse to them. And then let's look at um, the BBC News website, just here. Oh, that's the wrong one. And this is just the standard, everyday BBC News website. And as you know, the, the BBC al already have a mobile version of their news. And this is just an example to show you that you can browse, browse to a normal website, a desktop um, optimized website, and still get access to the content today. You can imagine on you know, numerous other devices, you, can't, you just can't see the entire internet. And these are the types of things that users are demanding today. So we can zoom in and find ourselves a the video, a pelican attacks weather. Okay, so we're going to see a weather presenter getting attacked. That's always been fun. So you can see that the, the player is just the standard player. And um, we'll zoom out a little bit. You can see that you know that the browser on Android is really sophisticated in the way that it it understands where the content is and tries tries to make the best um, you know find the best way of fitting the content um, onto the small screen. So you can see the BBC News site is ad supported when you're outside of the UK. This is something that you're probably not used to seeing, but but yeah, they, they they're ad supported when you view um, from elsewhere. And again, there's the you know the, the standard video playing back on the web. And again, we can do the same thing as before. We play the video back in full screen and you know get access to that. And this is, you know, really what the user expects when they're using a modern smartphone. They want access to the full web, but, you know, what we're showing here at the show is not just about smartphones. I mean, this is the Mobile World Congress, but, but Flash runs everywhere. It runs on the desktop, on netbooks and tablet devices. And, you know, part of the optimizations that we're doing with the Flash platform around Player 10.1, for example, are, are making sure that the, you know, access to video and content on the web is available to, you know, the netbook class of device. And then we've got those on show um, here too.